Hey guys, happy Friday. It's part four of my reading of John Bolu's Human Tuning. I apologize for it being so late in the day. I try to get these out in the morning. I had a busy day with clients and this is actually my third video of the day. There's gonna be one more. <laughs> so um, we left off yesterday talking about the ether element. I was going to go through all the elements today and leave it at that. I'm going to reread ether just so this makes sense. And uh, it's raining and my door's open, so you probably hear the boulevard. So, ether element. Ether is the key of C. The C and G tuning forks in the harmonic spectrum, these are also in the Fibonacci spectrum and the solar harmonic spectrum. The keywords are vision and space. The color is blue. The emotion in negative expression is grief, loss, remorse, and anguish. Positively, it takes you to ecstasy, bliss, joy, and happiness. Tissue quality, when you're assessing, on the negative spectrum will be limp, dull, loose, flaccid. Positive tissue improvement will experience elongation, relaxed, soft but firm, resilient, springy. The emotional profile on a negative aspect results in a feeling of suffering, loss, wandering directionless. Negative effect is bringing a vision, a sense of well-being, balance, the space to make things happen, celebration, and an acceptance of higher messages. Ether is space. There are many different qualities of ether in our lives represented by many different types of spaces. Each space has its own dimensions where different activities take place. The activities within the etheric space are the four elements, air, fire, water, and earth, which are constantly mixing in different combinations. Sometimes we even call these activities mixers. We can create spaces for different types of mixing. For instance, we can create internal emotional spaces for happiness, sadness, anger, grief, joy, and peace. We can also create mental spaces for our thoughts. Sometimes we say, I just need some space to think this over. Or, would you give me some space? We seek out different spaces at different times in our lives. Sometimes we may feel the need for outdoor spaces, indoor spaces, open spaces, or even enclosed spaces, big or small spaces. We may seek a warm space, a cold space, a light or dark space, or different colored spaces. Sometimes we need a quiet, peaceful space, or we may be attracted to a noisy, active, or chaotic space. New Yorkers are always talking about their living spaces. When I first arrived in New York City in 1973 from Indiana, I looked for a space to live. I looked at the small New York apartments and I felt like I was gonna suffocate. When I finally got out of the building, I started taking deep breaths. The real estate agent told me that people from my part of the country need more space. She took me to downtown Manhattan and showed me some loft spaces. I found one. It was not pretty, but it was big. In those days, to my surprise, no one wanted to live in a big space. All I knew is that I could breathe freely and feel relaxed in that open space. When I invited some of the hospital staff to my loft for a party, 
They had many different reactions to being in my space. One nurse told me, this space is so big it scares me. You get lost in here. A psychiatrist told me, I have never seen a space like this. My patients would freak out in here. My music therapy colleague, who grew up in Texas, understood my need for space. He let out a big holler and said, yes, this space is great. Space is everywhere in our lives. There are spaces within spaces. We are in the space of our room, which is in the space of our house. Our house is in the space of our property. And our property is in the space of our town. Our town is in the space of this country. And this country is in the space of the state, which is in the space of the country. Our country is the space of our lives, which is in the space of our solar system, which is in the space of our universe, and so on. We're always changing and shifting spaces. It seems sometimes we're on an endless search for the right space. When we are tired of being in the space of our room, we walk into another space in our house. We change our external space and then change our internal space. When we enter another room, our thoughts, emotions, and body shift. Writers are often looking for the perfect place to write. Painters need a space that has the right light. Cowboys sing about wide open spaces. Changing spaces is a form of tuning ourselves. This is perhaps the reason why the ether element is associated with sound. When I was recording at Navessa Studios in Woodstock, we were in a soundproof room. The microphones were turned up all the way in order to record the subtle overtones of the tuning forks. When we listened to the recording, we could still hear a sound that was not coming from the tuning forks. I asked the engineer what the humming sound was in the background. He told me it was the sound of the space of the recording room. He told me that different recording rooms have different sounds, different tones. Spaces within our own bodies are governed by the ether element. When the space between the joints of our body is too constricted or flaccid, its dissonance creates something in our harmonic field. This causes a change in our thoughts, emotions, and physical body. For example, a compromised space between the joint of the first finger or the articulation in the cranium have an effect on the energy throughout the entire body. Being someone who works in the fields of cranial sacral therapy, osteopathy, and lymphatic massage, I can't tell you how true that is. That is so true. Little spaces affect your whole body, especially the articulation between your cranium and the top of your spine. By understanding and working with ether, we can become aware of the importance of space in our lives. For example, we can be stressed out and take a vacation to the Caribbean. We can leave the small space of our office and enter the open space of the beach. By working with ether, we can take actions that change our space in order to create a harmonic shift in the wave patterns of the other four elements. So that was ether. Now we're gonna talk about air. Air also falls in the range of C and G. These are part of the solar harmonic spectrum, but they're also part of the Fibonacci, and these two forks together, C256 and G584, are referred to as a perfect fifth in music. So we're talking about air. The protocol specifically would be C to G or C to F. The key words to consider here are thought and intellect when you're thinking about air. The emotion associated on the negative side is bargaining or lust. A positive impact in this realm is compassion. The tissue quality when you're assessing is fast, erratic, and flighty on the negative side, and buoyant, fast moving, light and floating on the positive side. The emotional profile negatively, negative charge, 
Clear thinking, setting goals, excels at problem solving, easy to talk with, giving of self freely, abundance of ideas, and shifting. The positive polarization, not the positive effect, but the positive polarization, like the positive side of a battery, stimulating, is confusion, scattered, inability to make up one's mind, saying one thing and doing another, talking in circles, impatient and judgmental. Now, this is an important point to make here. Now we're getting into polarity therapy. There is positive and negative like you think of, well, that's a positive side effect. A positive side effect of drinking plenty of water is that your muscles are hydrated. Okay, that's a value judgment. There's also positive and negative charges, which is getting into polarity therapy. Healthy tissue has a negative charge, like the negative side of your battery. Scar tissue, inflamed tissue, sore tissue, injured tissue has a positive charge, like the positive side of your battery. It's like this. It's creating change. So an air element that is grounded, which refers to a negative charge, like the earth will ground you, is clear thinking, goal setting, and problem solving. And a positive charge is the opposite. Confusion, scattered, inability to decide. Air is everywhere. When we come into this world, the first thing we do is take a breath. Wherever we go, we need air. We breathe air even when we're flying in airplanes. We swim underwater and breathe air from a scuba tank. And we breathe air when we sleep. Everywhere we are, we need air to sustain our life. There are many different qualities of air. We can have fresh air, stale air, cold or hot air, humid and dry air, ocean, mountain, and city air. Air can be expansive, buoyant, and fast moving in currents, which we call breezes, winds, airstreams, whirlwinds, gales, cyclones, gusts, and drafts. It rained, so we are full of the negative electron charges. And the air is magnificent right now in its negative polarity. If someone floats around without any sense of reality, we say they're airy. We call someone who is always off in their thoughts an airhead. Air is about intellect and thought processes. The air element loves to move freely and can be uncomfortable or trapped when it slows down. Air in a balloon appears to be subtle, but is really under a lot of pressure. When the balloon pops and the air explodes, it escapes. People with a lot of air element qualify. People with a lot of air element quantities sometimes appear calm, yet inside they might be having a lot of thoughts and putting on a lot of pressure on themselves. When a person has hundreds of ideas and never seems to act on them, we say the person is an airhead or has his head in the clouds. When we do not like what someone says, we say, oh, that's just a lot of hot air. The air movement pattern is one of speed and zigzag movements in different directions. We sometimes tell children who move like this that they have ants in their pants. When adults are experiencing the air element, they may have difficulty making up their minds or making decisions. They may pace the floor, fidget, and quickly move from one womb to another. When a group of people have a lot of air, we say they are restless. When the air is contained and directed, we say they are focused and alert. When one talks about a person who exhibits an air voice pattern, they talk fast and sometimes erratically and switch from one topic to another. For example, a person may say in a very quick way, I think we should go to the movies, but maybe we should stay home, or it might be better if we take a walk, or Maybe let's take a quick walk, go to the movies, and then come back home. Instead of a walk, let's eat, and then let's go to the movies. Or maybe we should eat at home and watch a movie on television. 
As they speak, their body may move in a fast rhythm and become more and more agitated. Air element infomercial. Air infomercials. <laughs> Air infomercials tell you that you can do it all. You name it, you can do it. These are the travel commercials that let you know you can travel to Hawaii and stop up in Utah for some skiing. In Hawaii, you can visit a volcano, go to the beach, play golf, eat at great restaurants, and enjoy evening entertainment in three places. Plus, you can hike, take a helicopter ride, snor sail, snorkel, surf. In the end, the announcer explains the ticket and its restrictions faster than any human being can talk. The restrictions, which are Earth, are not that important because you have already done it all in your air element fantasy. <laughs> oh, no comment. Okay, now we're going to talk about fire. Within this, the C to G protocol, within the space of the perfect fifth, between the space of C and G, in the scale, fire represents the range from C to E. Movement and motivation represent fire. A negative charge is anger, rage. A positive charge is forgiveness. Shaking, excessive heat, friction, rubbing versus vibrancy, warmth, glowing. Can't get away, aggressive, always wanting to break through or get away, pushing, overbearing, lots of drama versus taking action, ready to go, warmth. Speaking up for oneself and one's ideas. Movement with direction. Forgiveness. Forgiving lots of drama. Fire is motivation. Fire shoots upwards and does this without thinking. The Nike commercial says it. Just do it. Captures the essence of the fire energy. There are many different kinds and qualities of fire. We can have a soft glowing ember fire or a raging fire in our fireplace. The question is always, what kind and quantity of fire do we need? The answer lies in our imagination and experience of different fires. Perhaps to sleep well, we need a soft, warm, glowing ember fire. For example, we may need a strong, bright, leaping fire. To motivate ourselves to paint or write, we need a spark of fire to ignite our creativity. You see this book is well studied, well worn, well dog eared. When we get really angry with someone, we say that person just burns me up. When we really want something, some, something or someone might say, she is all fired up about that. When we are not motivated to do something, sometimes we say, my fire is low today. When we need to make a change at work and let something go, we say, fire it, fire them. In the aggression of war, we get fired upon, and soldiers have firepower. When we use up all of our fire, we burn out. Our body temperature is ideally a steady fire in our body. A high fever is like a raging fire, and the lower one normal temperature is a lack of fire. When we meet someone who really inspires us and gets things going, we say, he's really a fiery person. Or if someone does too much and does not know how to stop, we say, he has too much fire. We were having a fire day in our polarity class in upstate New York. The class was in the studio during fire sessions and making fire sounds. Outside, about 75 yards from the classroom, I built a huge bonfire for the evening. I really got carried away and stacked wood above my head. I then got a fire thought. It just came, and I didn't even question it, even though I knew better. I went to the garage and got the lawnmower gasoline can and put the gasoline on the wood. I thought I had put on just a little to get the fire going. I stood back a good ways and threw a match into the huge pile. The next thing I knew was that there was a sound of a huge whoosh. It had knocked backwards three feet. The windows in the studio pulsed from the shock wave. The students who were in the middle of their fire bodywork sessions jumped up 
When they looked out the window, they saw a huge bonfire. Everyone was into the fire element and all seemed to be just fine. I picked myself up off the ground and thought, you should have known better after all these years of working with fire. You should not have let yourself get carried away like that. Fire Aramid Infomercial Fitness trainers have mesomorphic fire bodies. Sell exercise programs and equipment with raging fire energy. They're motivators who inspire us with excited words telling us to go, go, go. They tell us how earth people and bogged down water people are and how they need to add fire to their lives. Listen to them and you can pump iron, run, climb mountains, eat superfood, and you can do it all right now. Water. Again, within that range of C to G, within the space of the perfect fit, we're dealing with C and D for water. Bonding, creativity are the key words here. Nurturing, loving, caring is the grounded negative polarity for this as opposed to the overstimulating jealousy, possessiveness, envy, and attachment. Tissue with a negative charge in the water element is going to be fluid, flowing, liquid, and overstimulated positive polarity will show swelling, spongy, mushy, puffy. Your emotional profile with a negative polarity will be creative, lets people come and go, effortless, interactive, loyal, and a positive overstimulating polarity will create holding on to something, somebody jealous, possessive, turning cold, cold shoulder, covert. Water flows in many different ways. Water can be a gently meandering stream or a raging flood. Water can gush, spurt, and surge. We can pour water and spill water. Water makes waves, spouts, ripples, whirlpools, currents, undertoes, breakers, swells, eddies, and pools. There are thousands of qualities of water. Scalding, hot, warm, lukewarm, cold, freezing, and bubbly. There are bodies of water, such as ponds, streams, rivers, creeks, oceans, gulfs, seas, inlets, and reservoirs. Water's fun. We swim in water, make drinks out of water, enjoy pool pools, enjoy cool mists of water on a hot day, and play all sorts of water sport. We ice skate, and ski on frozen water. We can inhale the steam of hot water in our steam baths. Water is also dangerous. Water can drown us. Lifeguards learn that it only takes enough water to cover the nose and mouth to drown you. Water can also sweep us away, and the rise and fall of the ocean can make us seasick. Water is necessary for life. Ponce de Leon spent years looking for the fountain of youth and here I am, two blocks from the Fountain of Youth here in St. Augustine. To this day, people all over the world seek the healing waters of springs. Yes. Without water, we would dry up. When someone is out ideas and can't continue on an activity, they say, I'm all dried up. Water is also about flow and creativity. When we're doing a project and the work just happens, we say we're in the flow. Water will flow anywhere unless it has boundaries. When a person babbles on and on about any activity or ability, we say they are watery. Here's an example. I really like Mark because he's a good person. He brings me my groceries from the store and he never overcharges. I can trust Mark to show up on time. I am sure Mark is smart and I know that he's a good boy and... Then you try to stop them and say, but Mark is not going to be here tomorrow. He quit. The conversation continues flowing as though you were a rock on the stream. 
Oh, well, I'm sure he has his reasons. He's such a good boy, and I knew he delivered my groceries on time, and I'm sure he will go on and find something else. I wonder what he'll be doing next. Water element infomercial. Water element infomercials always bring us closer, create bonds, and give us a special flow in our lives. Soft music is always a big water element seller. We see images of a couple holding hands, walking along a beach, listening to a romantic classic. The sex and intimacy commercials show us a happy man holding his satisfied wife's hand and telling us the wonders of Viagra. There is a water commercial made specifically for investors showing a burned out broker, too much fire, who learns about a video aquarium water. He watches his video fish swimming and enters a water state where he can relax and experience new ideas and hopes for his life. And lastly, Earth. Earth is just C. C256 or an auto, that's the tuning fork that has a weight on the end that looks like this of 128. So a tuning fork like this sends its frequency out. A tuning fork like this, these weights push the vibration back down. So what you do with a tuning fork like this is you activate it, but then you put the handle on you and all that vibration that the tines are creating is forced back down through the handle onto you. They're very effective. So it's like acupuncture, but you're using vibration instead of the electromagnetics that the needle interacting with the iron in your blood creates. Keywords here are grounded, centered. Fear, terror, possession, boredom versus security, confidence, and patience. Contracted, held, hard, pulled in, cold versus strong, solid, and firm. Afraid to let go bottled up, holding back, walled off from feelings, strong belief systems and thought patterns, right and wrong tendencies, feeling of not wanting to be too close, enforce, distance, earth wall. These are negative polarities. So we're dealing with the earth, which is already negative in charge. It is groundedness. It is already the negative polarity. We don't need to ground what is grounded anymore. You don't need to add salt to the ocean, right? You don't need to ground the earth. If it gets too grounded, it becomes hard and stuck. We want to activate it. We want to move that energy so it doesn't get stuck. So a positive charge, in this case, is activating that groundedness so it can move freer, which results in a clear position, straightforward way of relating, getting things straight, organized information, security, trust, safety, and clear boundaries. Earth is our mother and the ground we stand on. When we die, our bodies return to Mother Earth and our spirits rise up to our Creator. There are many qualities of Earth. We can experience solid Earth, hard Earth, soft Earth, mushy, hot, cold, frozen, cracked, brittle, dry, parched, moist, muddy, and fertile. Farmers look at the Earth, touch it, smell it, and feel it 
to determine the right planning time. Earth creates many things, mountains, hills, caves, canyons, valleys, yards, trails, rocks, boulders, stones, stream beds, lake and ponds, and ocean floors. Earth is fun. We run and jump on the earth. Children play in dirt and slide down mud hills. We make mud pies and pottery with earth. We build clay houses and some people live in underground houses. We climb earth, throw earth, skip across stones across the water. We move earth with excavators and little boys watch with wide eyes. We plant our gardens in good earth. We spend hours with our hoes and shovels making everything just right with our green thumbs. When we need to be organized and focused, we turn to earth to get our feet on the ground. When we're scattered, we're told, get our act together, which is another way of saying, get organized, get grounded. When we need to be clear about what we're doing, we ground ourselves. When we meet someone who speaks clearly and usually with a slow, low voice, we say, that person is really grounded, or that person really has their act together. I love to listen to good radio talk shows who help you solve your problems. My favorite talk show host was a man named Dr. Bernard Meltzer, who had a radio show in New York City for many years. He would come on the air and say in a low, resonant, slow, clear voice, Hello, this is Dr. Bernard Meltzner. Think of me as your Uncle Bernard. Let's talk about your problems and solve them. The moment I heard his deep, earthy voice, I felt a deep sense of security. It was as though whatever problems I might be experiencing would just melt into the earth. I think people turned into Dr. Meltzer just to hear his voice, and whatever he talked about was secondary. One day, an hysterical woman trying to talk very fast called the show. She just went on and on and on. Suddenly, Dr. Meltzer spoke up and said in his deep voice, Stop. Slow down, dear. We will handle this. I couldn't believe the switch in the woman's voice as she pulled in a clear and slowed down tone. Really? Dr. Meltzer, in all his earthly confidence, said, Of course. Earth gives us our boundaries and our security. In medieval times, castles were built from stones and were called fortresses. When there was a threat, everyone retreated inside the stone walls for safety. During World War II, people built bunkers deep underground to protect themselves from the bombs. Today, Switzerland and other countries have hollowed out whole mountains for people to retreat to in case there's a nuclear attack. Earth Element Infomercial. Earth infomercials present disorganized people, too much air, who become organized, Earth, by their products. They show day organizers to manage your time, kitchen organizers, file organizers, basement organizers. These infomercials begin with crazy, disorganized air element people who discover the product and instantly become well organized. My favorites are those financial management infomercials that slow a perfectly dressed older man, Earth, speaking with a deep, slow Earth voice, asking you to let his company manage, organize your money. So that's the elements. That's as far as I'm gonna go today. Let all that sink in. Think about how those different elements impact you. How those different elements, which is the basis of Chinese medicine, is elements, have an impact on your thinking. And how your thinking impacts how you feel.
This is Joyce at Medusa was framed. Medusa readings. And we'll read another section tomorrow. Thank you.